Uh, other than validating uh, people's ideas about you know death rays from science fiction shows, there really wasn't much else going on uh, as far as technical applications. But one thing that did get very popular was blowing up balloons. Uh, there apparently were a lot of uh, balloon blowing demonstrations with lasers in the 60s. So I'm going to try to do a few of those right now. And um, I'm going to uh, try to block these beams as much as possible. You notice that I've got some beam blocks on each end uh, to try to make sure anything that's stray won't, won't go out to the sides. The other thing is that uh, I've got a card here in front of my laser. And I've got a little tiny pinhole prick in it so that I can actually see where the beam is going. That's how I lined up the balloons. But most of the beam is being blocked. And I don't know, those of you, well, Chris, you can see how bright this green spot is on the uh, card. By the way, this is one of the great reasons for business cards. Anybody who's a laser spectroscopist collects business cards like crazy because we use them to block the beams. Yeah, there you go. All right, so most of the light is actually being reflected off the business card. So let's see what happens when I unblock most of the light. Was that impressive enough? Yeah. <laughs> Got my attention. <laughs> there was a reason why I tried to do this kind of in the middle where I figured I'd wake everybody up. Now, why did the three red balloons depart? But the green balloon is still alive. Yeah, they. All right. Red balloons do not absorb green light. They do. They absorb all colors but red. So they kept absorbing it and absorbing it and heating up until the blue. Meanwhile, the green one reflected the green laser light. Yep. So it didn't heat. And if you're over about where I am right now, you would be amazed at how much green light is being reflected off of this green balloon. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> now, um, I want to pay personal thanks to um, a woman named Karen Ford who came by here uh, during break and gave me some of these balloons that have red balloons inside clear balloons. Uh, she gave me a lot of them. In fact, she brought a whole bunch of them already blown <coughs> up over here. Um, because there's a demonstration that I've always wanted to do. Which balloon do you think is going to blow up when I put this in the laser beam? I got to tell you, the first time I saw this demonstration done, it was actually by Arthur Shallow in the 1980s. He'd come to Vanderbilt to give a talk right after he got the Nobel Prize. All right, so you see right now, I've got the green light hitting the red balloon. You see that? See a little bit of green speck? In fact, it's reflecting off the table there. All right, so let's see what happens when I open up the laser beam. <laughs> 